Good morning everyone, this is Daniel with Chef Dan Suka and I've got another tobacco flavor review for you. This is for the Trifecta Blonde line, the Trifecta Tobacco, and the flavor is Moro Zest. And I have been smoking this one here for about 20-25 minutes now and the flavor does not disappoint. On the front image, it's got what looks like a regular orange, but because of the dark section, I can't tell if it's a blood orange or not. Either way, it tastes really good. It tastes just like a fresh orange. Just like in the um, Ugly Orange Keef uh, review, it tastes pretty dang natural. And if it's artificial, I honestly can't tell. And I'm actually really impressed with this flavor because of how natural it tastes. Before I get into the technical of it, my setup is a generic disposable hose. Uh, the Namor Furat Egyptian Hookah an Egyptian clay bowl with foil and provost and two black diamond cubes. And let's get into the tobacco itself. The look, if you can see it, yeah, the sun's not the best angle, so let me take it out of there. There we go. It is, as you can see, a very juicy, but it's not swimming. It's an inconsistent cut. There's been some big pieces, some little choppy pieces, and little bits of stems here and there. Right. There we go. And it's of a slightly darker color, but I think that's just because of the natural color of the tobacco. I don't believe this has any artificial coloring at all. And if it does, I can't tell. And I kind of like that. I don't think the tobacco should be red colored or whatever else just to distinguish themselves from others it is juicy and sticky but it is not so sticky and juicy that you can't break up clumps if you want to fluff, uh, fluff pack it or anything else it mixes really well with with other flavors like grapefruit and blueberry and most especially mint and orange and mint just make a really good flavor combination just make sure that the mint is the smaller portion of your mix and of course the orange tobacco with the rest of it because you don't want the mint to overpower. The smell, I do have a little bit of a artificial or chemical like flavor but it is so so subtle that unless you literally stick it into your nose like that that I'm doing you can't really tell that it's there not even in the smoke when I've been smoking you can't tell uh, or taste at least to me anything artificial in it. And you can actually smell the peel of the orange, a little bit of the pith as well. And it smells just like a fresh orange. It's so nice and fragrant. Lovely. And they come in this nice hard um, 250 gram tin. They, I think they come in 100 gram tins as well. So um, one thing I'd recommend because I found this had, uh, because of slight leakage in the bag when I got it, there's a little bit of rust in the corners and on the seam of the can. So just take it out of the can put it in a, like a stronger Ziploc bag and then put it back in there if you want to keep the tin. Or just take it out of there completely and throw away the tin and just relabel whatever container you're going to be in because, of course, rust is no bueno. The, the flavor of it, again, you can taste the slight bitterness of the peel and the pith, but it tastes just so natural. I don't really get much of an artificial flavor at all, which I... I think that's awesome. As natural flavor as possible is always a good thing. The flavor you do get a little bit of the pith taste to it which adds a bit of natural bitterness to it which I think is pretty good. It just makes it even more real. Definitely good, uh, uh, nice natural fruit meat flavor, and I really, until today, haven't smoked it straight. As I mentioned before, I usually mix it with mint, and it's just an all-around good mix. Orange and mint just go together, go together so well. And there's no mint in this, kind of like the um, orange keef does, and if it doesn't have mint in it, please feel free to correct me, tell me I'm wrong, whatever. But I tell you, when I smoked the uh, ugly orange keef, I, I tasted a bit of mint in it. This one doesn't have that. It's just a straight orange flavor.
It just has a straight flavor smoke. It's very good. Again, no chemical flavor that I can taste. And if it is there, it's so subtle that you just can't tell. Now, the visual aspect of the clouds. As you can see, I've been puffing on it. You can see some clouds there. But let's get a longer draw and see what we can get. As you saw there, you can get a dense enough uh, breath of clouds in there. You can make some nice little smoke rings and the clouds are nice and white. They're milky, they stick around for a while. There's no wind today, so you'll be able to see them better. Hey Cosmo, hello puppy dog. And it's just my dog just trying to escape again. Uh, other than that, this is an all around good smoke just as it is. I um, I tend to like to fluff pack this. I know you can probably pack it just a little bit denser if you're going to use like a funnel bowl or something else. But I tend to go with the clay Egyptian and fluff pack it. Spread it out pretty well after I put a good amount in there, maybe like 8 grams, possibly 10. I tend to not do a whole thick of it because I've noticed that even with uh, the provost or even with coals directly on the foil, the very thinnest layer on the bottom doesn't get smoked out even after a couple of hours and the fluff pack usually does it well enough for me so that's recommended at least uh, from me to you but pack it however you feel and then I was going to give a point system on the buzz of about a one and a half because initially you feel a little bit of buzz but it's not very strong not enough to make you woozy but you do feel in the head and a little bit so the buzz is I'm going to give it a, a one and a half the clouds, as you saw, are pretty good, so I'm going to give it a 7. You can make some nice smoke rings in it. They hang around for a while. It's a good visual aspect, and the flavor is absolutely awesome. Yes, it's not like, oh, this is absolutely awesome. Woohoo, we need to make a cult after the flavor and all that stuff. But the flavor is absolutely, it's, it's absolutely good. It's very, very nice. Tastes like a real orange. Little or no chemical or artificial flavor to it, so I'm going to give that one also a 7. And I believe you can get these at uh, Five Star Hookah, Hookah John, uh, South Smoke, Hookah Heroes, and Hookah Junkie. They're all about the same price, give or take a dollar between the two of them. So go and get yourself some. Get it in the 250 because you're going to be smoking this one quite often, especially if you like orange. So again, a quick recap. No more if you're at Hookah, disposable hose, Egyptian clay bowl with foil and provost in two cubes. And the flavor is Moro Zest by Trifecta. And you can get it at any of the websites that I mentioned. Other than that, go pack yourself a good bowl. Sit outside, enjoy the air, and have a great day. I will talk to you next time. If there's anything I didn't cover or touch on, please put it in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and have yourself a great day and happy smoking.